Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a compare and contrast between nanos and PMMAs. But first, if you have not liked and subscribed, please hit that like and subscribe button and that will help me out tremendously and that'll help me bring content that's important to you. So let's get into nanos. I had my nanos put in a little bit ago and um, right off the bat, my first response was they were thinner. Um, I did my best to try to make sure that they kept the same shape, the same design, everything was the same. And um, I think they did a pretty good job. So here's the nanos that they put in. They feel really good. They are definitely thinner as far as the, the width of the bridge. So when they put it in, I was like, ooh, more room, room, more room in my mouth. And sorry, I'm congested, I have allergies, so sorry for sounding terrible, but I wanted to make sure you guys got a video, so let's do this. Um, but the teeth, I believe, look the same. Uh, they, My husband said they look really natural, and he thinks these are the best ones yet, so that's encouraging. Um, they did a little bit darker on the gum tissue, and um, the front teeth, I believe, were a little, like slightly longer, I didn't notice it when they put it in. I saw it on the table and I could see that it was slightly longer than the PMMAs, but I, I definitely really like it. Um, some other differences is I actually had a hard time speaking in nanos when they first put them in, but not my PMMAs. As soon as they put my PMMAs in, I could speak clearly. I didn't have to practice my, my S's and sounds. And this one I still kind of do. Um, it's been several weeks and I'm still trying to get used to First of all, speaking slowly and enunciating, um, especially with S's, S-H, and CH sounds. Those are a little bit more difficult um, with nanos. And I don't know why. They are thinner and they take up less space. So I thought they would have been easier. But for speaking, I'm having more difficulty with nanos than I did with PMMAs. Um, other differences is the way they did this bridge um, in my... PMMAs, it was one solid um, space across the bottom, and then I'll show you here in a second, but with this one, they made it more narrow, and then they just kind of created like a little divot where the implant is, and so they just cut in around it, so... That's what I'm talking about. So they made it more narrow here, and then they just place that implant there. So that's the only difference on the bottom. They are thinner, the bridge itself is thinner. And then um, the teeth, I wanted to make sure they were sharp. I didn't like how rounded my last ones felt after a little bit. So this one, um, there's more of a biting edge, which I really, really like. They feel sharper um, and they can, they're more effective for biting off and chewing. I still don't like to bite hard things, so I won't bite ice or anything super crunchy because I'm just paranoid and scared. Um, and I really want to protect my teeth, so I can't, I can't attest to biting super hard things, but I do eat regular foods. I can still eat anything. I can bite into sandwiches. Um, I have bitten into a carrot, a small little carrot. It scared me for a second, but it was a good feeling. So I'm like, it's okay, it worked. And it was nice and my teeth were nice and sharp. So it did its job. Um, but as far as everything else, this material feels good. It kind of, it feels and sounds like when you bite more like natural teeth, because the PMMAs kind of felt like a little plasticky and not bad. It just, it didn't feel like normal teeth. But when I bite with these, it sounds more like teeth, and so it kind of gives me um, less, um, a less, a, like it's, I feel like it's a less, less um, noticeable sound if I hit my teeth together or if I bite something. Before, it sounded kind of more like a thud, and this one sounds more like a regular tooth bite, if that makes any sense. I'm trying to be as descriptive as possible. Um, Secondly, uh, I have noticed, and I'm not sure if this is just me or if this is across the board, so we'll have to look at more people with nanos um, that have had nanos and PMMAs, but I feel like these um, have more of a, a um, they build up plaque faster, I feel, or it's just easier for them, uh, me to notice that they need to be brushed. Because with my PMMAs, um, I could, 
I didn't like to, but if I had to, like if I was out running around all day and I couldn't brush my teeth all day, um, they wouldn't look dirty. But with these, I've noticed they have um, more of a little bit of buildup, especially between the teeth. So <clears throat> it has me almost more self-conscious, like I have to make sure periodically throughout the day my teeth are clean because otherwise I feel like it just shows. And it may be just me being pretty self-conscious, um, but it also, it may be just that they build up faster because um, every material is different and they respond differently. So we will see. I'll probably just go throughout the day and not brush my teeth and do another video and just see if you can see um, a difference between like the beginning of the day and then the middle of the day uh, and see if it's if it's a visible notice or if it's just me but um, my another thing I have noticed is the molars are significantly sharper and they're sharper on the sides so like the PMMAs had more of like a ridge on top of the molars. So when I would bite and hold on to something in my mouth, um, it wouldn't, the food wouldn't move, but that only lasted for a couple months and then that, that wore off and then they were slick again. But with these, I feel like the tooth itself has a defining edge around it so that there's more, um, there's more bite force and there's also, there's also, um, like a sharper edge to bite food, I guess. It's, I don't really know how to describe it, but the, the defining edge around the tooth is more sharp and it's more defined, so it's not just a flat surface. So that I really like. Um, I like how it sounds when I hit my teeth together, which is a, a weird thing to notice, but I do like that about the Nanos. Um, they take up a lot less space in my mouth, so that was a very weird feeling taking your teeth out, putting your new ones in, and then it feels like there's like a third, a third more space in your mouth. So that felt very good. Uh, again, the thing that was hardest was learning how to speak, and I'm still slightly struggling um, with certain sounds, and especially if I speak fast. So I think it's a good thing. I need to slow down anyway. Maybe this will force me to slow down my speech and not sound so crazy and fast when I talk. But those are the biggest differences um, between nanos and PMMAs is I feel that they get a little, they show a little bit more um, plaque during the day. Um, or maybe it's not even plaque. Maybe it's just like the food sticks to it differently or something. Um, I don't know what, what it is. It just, I feel like there's a little bit more buildup that's noticeable, especially between the teeth. Like, and so it kind of looks like they need to be cleaned um, throughout the day. Uh, I do drink a lot of coffee, so that may be why, but I don't feel like it did that as much with my PMMAs. So that is something I'm gonna be looking at so I can update you better as far as which one looks better throughout the day. But um, tooth shape, I, I have a feeling that these are gonna last um, longer as far as the cutting edge and the sharpness. Um, especially in the front because these have already lasted longer as far as how sharp they are um, on the bottom because before they kind of round off pretty quickly and they, they wear down with the PMMAs but I don't feel like these would as fast so that'll definitely be an ongoing update so we can see um, how they how they age and how they um, how they do as they get more worn in or more worn out but as of now, this is the difference. They did make my gums um, slightly more, um, like a darker pink, and they had it match my gum tissue a little bit better, so it actually flushes really well. So it matches a lot closer, which is really nice. Um, you still can't see my real gum tissue when I smile even huge. This is as big as my mouth can get and you still can't see it. So that is really nice. Now my kids said, when I open my mouth really wide, they can see the implants in the bottom. Right here. And that was not noticeable with my PMMAs, but that's the only difference. Not a deal breaker, because I normally don't go around with my mouth hanging open for people to see, but um, something to Pay attention, I guess. Um, and also, I noticed that with these, my bottom teeth on the inside look more natural. So if someone does happen to see the inside of your teeth, 
these looked more natural as far as the tooth shape, size, and function than my last ones did. My PMMAs kind of look like one. It kind of like, if you could see the inside, to me they look like, okay, that's a bridge because they don't look like individual teeth from the inside. They're, the teeth are too short. But on this one, it looks a lot more natural. So that I really like because um, I am... I do have a big mouth and I do open it wide and I do laugh a lot. And if someone were to notice it, um, I feel like it's not as, it doesn't catch your eye like the last ones did. But that is it. This is the first one with my Nanos. They did a great job. Let me know what you think. And if you like the look of these Nanos or the PMMAs um, more, let me know in the comments. And then also hit me up with your questions and I will follow them up with some more videos. Have a good one, guys.